Hello guys, good to have you here on my channel. I am Azari Matyase and this time I will demonstrate how to draw a sectional drawing. For this exercise, we need to refer to the plan drawing produced earlier. Here I've put it on the lower right section of the workspace for reference. It is actually easier to draw both sections at the same time. To the right is the XX section and YY section is on the left. To begin, I will project the lines from the walls on the plan to the section. Then add the floor slab, which is 150mm thick, the same with the walls. Here's the half wall for the balcony. You should establish clearly the levels and the floor to floor height. You'll need this. I'm trying to draw the walls and the roof. However, I can't finish the XX section because I'm missing a vital information the roof cut. So, let's get to on the YY section first. For this, we need to construct a reflection line. This line is used to reflect any projection to the right position. In this case, right next to the XX section. Then use the reflected lines to construct the YY section. Project it vertically as a reference for the YY section. For the roof, first I construct the center line based on the wall center line. Then the center line is offset 75mm on each side. This forms the roof structure. Occasionally, take your time to check your drawings for mistakes. Now I need a reference to draw the roof of XX section. Extract it from the plan onto the reflection line. Now we have the XX section line on the roof of YY section. Project the cut onto the XX section on the right. Then finish constructing the roof. And yes, if you notice, the horizontal cut of the roof looks a little bit thicker than the others. That's fine.
Now to sort out some of the details. Okay. Now to the tricky part, the staircase. Use reference from the plan to project lines onto the section. Then we can start plotting where the steps from the staircase will be. Remember, the thread is 250mm and the riser is 150mm. Okay. Also remember, the railing is not cut, so I use the 2B pencil for this. The other part of the staircase is not cut too. Remember to use appropriate pencils. Now finish up the rest of the staircase. Now I'm going to detail up the cut door. Remember we did a cut door in plan? This time it is in section. We also need to do the door in elevation. 
as seen in the YY section. Moving on, I need to work out where the sofa is going to be. So I project it from plan to the reflection line and then above to the YY section. It's just a regular sofa. I don't want to get into too much detail on this. Now we're almost done. For the finishing touches, thicken the ground line. Also, add in the dimensions. Mark the important measurements and label the dimensions appropriately. and label your drawings. We scale. Don't forget the angular dimensions too. Finally, eyeball the drawings again and look for mistakes. Ah, here I forgot to draw a window that is cut. You can refer this on plan. And that's it. We're done. Hope this helps. Do work hard and enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.